to our seat uh, and coming into seated mountain. So welcome everyone to yoga, by the way. So we want our feet firmly on the mat. Our, knee, our ankles are under our knees. Hands are resting on our thighs. And we're just going to come kind of almost to a neutral, but we're going to tilt our head just a little bit, bringing our chin down to our chest. And this is where we're going to just come into our mountain pose. Coming into easy breath, just natural easy breath, inhaling and exhaling. for the day, or at least for this moment, forgetting all that happened earlier. We're just right now in this moment. Let's take three more breaths right here. Inhale in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Lift our chin, open our eyes if our eyes were closed, so we're coming into a neutral space where we're looking straight ahead. And we're just going to come into some neck rolls. So your hands are still resting on your thighs. You're just going to bend and roll. Just circle that neck all the way around. In the same direction, take it four times all the way around. Doesn't that feel good? Here's our third one. Now our fourth one, come right down where your chin is to your chest, and we're going to take it in the opposite direction, going over and around. Here's two. Don't forget to breathe. We never stop breathing. And here's our last one, right here. Coming right back to the center, coming back to a neutral space, lifting that head up. Now we're going to take that right ear down to the right shoulder. So we can stay right here, or to get a little bit of a deeper stretch, we can bring that right arm up, grab a hold of the side of our head, nice little tap, and then take the left arm out and reach that left arm. So now you're getting a stretch all through this left side here. Inhaling and exhaling, let's hold on for another breath. Relaxing the hands back to the thighs, head comes up. We're going to try that on the other side. Take that left ear over to the left side. You can stay right here, or you can add that left hand coming to the side of your head, taking a little bit, just a little pressure. Bring the right hand out like you're reaching for that floor so you get that nice stretch on the whole right side of your neck. And we're going to hold on here for two more breaths. chin down to your chest. And on an inhale, bring that head back up. Bring your hands to your shoulders and bring your shoulders in. So we're just coming right here, right? So now we're going to open up the chest. So we're going to lean forward just a little bit as we bring our elbows back, shoulders together, heart open. On our exhale, we're almost going to round our back. That's what it's going to feel like. And we take our gaze down to our elbows. So we're going to add a lift here. We're just going to lift our head all the way up. Opening up the chest, working the shoulders. Here's your exhale as everything comes in. And your inhale as it all comes up. One more time, both ways. Here's your inhale this time. Right here, perfect. Come all the way back into your seated mountain pose. Inhale and exhale here. We're going to bring our arms all the way up into mountain. And we're going to work the wrists and the arms here. So we're just going to begin to circle. This feels almost better to me than anything else. Just circling those wrists right here. 
people we are going to work our arms all the way down to our sides until we bring our hands all the way here. Inhale and exhale there. And now we're going to circle in the opposite direction. So we're just going to start right here before we lift back to mountain. So taking our wrists in the opposite direction and then begin to lift all the way up. All the way up, all the way up into our seated mountain. Perfect. Inhale and exhale right here. Hands come all the way down to our thighs. And we're going to come just a little bit forward. So our back is off the mat or off the chair. That's the mat. We're going to come into a horizontal stretch. So bringing our hands right here into prayer. We're going to take the left arm up, right arm down. And our gaze goes up to whatever hand is lifted up. So we're really stretching, feeling the stretch between both hands. Perfect. And coming all the way back. Take both hands up into your mountain. Let's take it in the opposite direction. This time the right arm is reaching up. Left arm is down. The gaze is up to that right hand. Good job. Come up with the breath. Let's take it one more time to each side. Left side comes up as we reach that right arm down. Gaze up to that left side. With the breath, inhale here. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Take that horizontal stretch. All the way back down, feet are underneath, ankles underneath. We are going to come really quickly into a child's pose. And then we're going to start a little bit of a sun salutation. So just bowing right here in your chair, feeling the release of your back. Good job, you guys. Perfect. If your hands can reach the mat, that's great. If not, your fingers can dangle off. Take another breath right here. And come all the way, rounding up bone by bone, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming right back up into our seated mountain. So we're going to come into a one of the mini sun salutations. So we're going to take this right arm, and we're going to reach it forward. So we're just going to reach forward as far as you can forward with that right arm. Like you're reaching to pull, I'm trying to pull that chair in front of me, right? On an exhale, we're bringing that hand all the way down to the mat. On an inhale, we're coming all the way back up with that right arm. Exhale, hand comes down. We're going to add on in a little bit. We're going to take that to the left side. So we're going to reach that left arm forward, stretch it forward, feel that nice stretch. Inhale and exhale. Take that hand all the way down to your mat or as close to your mat as you can. Inhale, that left arm comes all the way up as you come into your seated mountain. Stretching that left side. Exhale, bring that hand all the way down. Let's do that again. Before we add on, let's do this. Take that right arm, stretch it forward, going a little bit faster. Take that right arm down. On your inhale, come up into your seated mountain. Exhale, bring that hand down. Taking the left arm up, reaching. Doesn't that feel good? Exhale, bring that left hand down. Inhale, that left arm up to seated mountain. Exhale, right here. So we're going to add on right here. So we're going to take the stretch forward. Exhale that right arm down. Inhale, the right arm comes up, left arm comes up with it. We step, testing our balance into our standing mountain pose. Good job, good job, good job. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. It's easier to find your way back to your chair. There's my chair, come all the way back. We're gonna do that on the left side. So left arm comes up and we stretch. Exhale, left arm comes down. Left arm comes up into mountain. We come all the way up 
into our standing mountain. Stretch those fingers up. Inhale and exhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Working on our balance, coming all the way down into our chair. So we're going to add on a little bit here. So once again, taking that right arm out. Exhale, bring that right arm down. Now, if we can, as we bring the right arm up, we're stepping right away up, coming in to our mountain pose. Exhale, bring the hands to prayer. So right here, just take a moment, catch your breath. Keep your eyes open because we're going to do a balance pose here. We want our eyes open, so we're going to tap the foot forward. So take a moment just to feel that nice stretch in the front of the leg. And we're going to bring that foot right back. So tap it forward again. Same foot, same foot. So it's the same foot. It's the right leg that's going forward. We're not working that left side yet. Bring it back. Now this time, we're going to take a big step forward and bend the knee. If you feel, if you need to hang on to that chair, hang on to your chair. So right now, we're in warrior one. So we can stay right here with our hands right here. That right knee is bent. Left arm is our strong arm. Or we can take the arms right up into your warrior arm pose. Take a breath right here. Bring your hands back to heart center. Very carefully step the right leg back. Make sure your chair is behind you and sit back into your chair. Coming all the way back. We have another side to do. So we're going to take that left arm, reach it forward. Exhaling, hand comes down. Inhaling with we can, coming all the way up into our standing mountain. Both arms reach up, stretch the side body. On your exhale, bring the hands to heart center. We're going to try that balance on the left side. So we're just going to begin by stepping the toe and coming right back. So step the toe, take a moment here, feel that nice stretch through the ankle, the front of the leg. Take that foot back. One more time before we step into our warrior one. Take that foot back and this time we take a big step. And we bend the left knee. You may need to adjust yourself a little bit just to keep your balance. So hands are at heart center. Our left knee is bent right over that ankle, strong right leg. Extend those arms if you feel comfortable into your warrior one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Take another breath here. Exhale, hands come down and take that left leg very carefully back into your standing pose. Make sure your chair is behind you. Sit all the way down and to your seated mountain. One more, we're gonna add on one more thing to that. So take that arm forward, exhale down. Inhale up and stand right up into your mountain, working on our balance. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going to step right away into that warrior one. So y'all are familiar with this pose, you're comfortable. So we're just gonna add a different arm. So we're gonna take our arms up first to mount it. You can stay right here, or you can bring your hands into frog or field. You can look forward, or you can look up. Looking forward and to the mat is going to be better for your balance. Inhaling and exhaling here, you guys look like professional yogis. Bring your arms all the way back up. Exhale the hands to heart center. Step that leg all the way back. Oh, sitting right back into our chair. One more time into our sun salutation. Take that left arm, reach it forward. Exhale, reach it up and come all the way up. Both arms come up. Hands to heart center. We're going to step that left foot. Left knee is bent, coming <coughs> right into your warrior ones. You can stay right here, or you can extend the arms up. Or you can come into your field goal, bringing your shoulder blades together. Awesome. Let's hold 
into your nether breath and come out of the pose. Bring the arms all the way up. Reversing where we were, coming back to heart center. Stepping that foot back into your mountain and sitting right in to your chair. Bring your hands to your knees. In fact, let's come right down into a child's pose just for a moment. So round that back, dangle forward. Your hands come um, down to the mat or they can just dangle. Perfect, perfect. We're going to come into a hard one, but we're not going to come far off the chair, round that back, coming all the way up. I call this a mini chair. So let's bring our hands to our thighs. Feet are right underneath our ankles, right? We're going to work our backside. So what are we doing? We're just coming off the chair like an inch. Working, working, working. Exhale, come all the way back down. Just that easy. We're going to do it four times, but the fourth one, we're going to add different arms. Exhale, come down. You can also hold on to the chair right here if you need to for balance. Bring your hands to the back of the chair and come all the way down. Uh-oh, here we go. So if you're holding on to the chair and you need that balance, you're only going to lift one arm and you're going to keep yourself attached to that chair or you're going to bring both arms out into a full chair. Wow. And come all the way back down into your seat. Awesome. Let's stretch those legs out for a minute. Take both legs out. And just uh, let your arm, your hands just fold over the front. And just stretch yourself out just a little bit. that left knee right under you and just stretch that right leg out. Just grab a hold of that leg. Take the ankle. Circle it around. Just kind of stretching here before we move on. Take that foot down. Let's grab the left one. Take it up. Circle. Circle that ankle. And in the opposite direction. And come all the way Sitting up straight, hands are to the knees. We're going to work our abs and our arms here. So we're going to take our arms, press the opposing walls away from you. So feeling a nice stretch in the front of your body, right? So from here, we're going to bring, not using resistance, we're going to bring our arms down, take them all the way up to mountain, and then into field goal. So bring them all the way back up. Exhale right back to the center, pushing those walls away, keeping the resistance. Exhale, arms come down. Inhale, they come to the side. Bring them all the way up, pushing the ceiling away, and feel the arms. Let's do that two more times, coming all the way back up. Exhale to the side. Here we go, all the way down. Take an inhale here, push the walls away. Continue taking those arms up. Here's your feel goal. We only have one more to get through. Push the ceiling away. Exhale to the walls. Bring those arms down. Coming all the way back up. All the way up, take your feel goal arms, perfect. Bring the arms up and take a breath. Bring your hands back down. We're doing coming into the eye. So much fun ab work. Bringing our hands behind our head. So we're going to take this right elbow to the left knee. So we're just working that left side, crossing around. So elbow to knee. Bring that foot right back down elbow to knee, and that leg comes all the way back down. Here we go. One more time right here. Keep 
your elbow off to the left, bring your foot down, bring that left hand to the outside of the knee, and take your right arm to the back of the chair, just come into your twist. So you're twisting to the left, looking over the left shoulder. Stay right here for a couple of breaths. more breath here and come all the way back to the sitting mountain pose. We're going to do that on the other side. Take those arms back behind you, working our abs this time. Left elbow and right knee crunch. Come back to neutral. Exhale here, coming back to neutral. Four more times right here. Perfect, you guys are doing great. Inhaling and exhaling. Two more times. Here's our last one. Just bring that foot down. Take the right hand to the outside of that right leg. Take the left arm behind your chair. Take your twist. If that's too much for your shoulder, you can be bring both hands to the side of your leg. Find what works for you. more breath and come all the way back through the center and bring your feet wide before we come into any standing poses we're just going to have our knees wide and we're just going to windshield wipe our knees so over to the right side and then over to the left nice and easy on the hips so if you're the hip person you're going to be careful Also, just move them nice and easy if you have hip problems right here. Either way. So, one more time each side. Perfect. So now we're coming to some standing poses. So we're going to stand all the way up. Bring our chair to us. So we want to start facing the cushion or the mat, as they say. So we're gonna face the mat of our chair. So we're gonna come into a twist, a forward fold and a twist. So the first thing we're gonna do is just bring our hands down to the mat, or the chair. If I say mat, I mean chair. So make sure your feet are a little distance apart from the chair. They're about hip distance apart. And right now we're almost in a forward fold. So from here, we're going to take a twist, and we're going to start with that left arm. Take that left arm up, over to the left, keep the right arm to the chair. You can bend your knees if it feels better for you. Bend those knees a little bit, just getting a nice twist here. Exhale, bring that left hand down. Take the right arm out. Take the right arm out to the side, perfect. Bend those knees if you need to, or keep them straight. Yogi's choice. And come right back to your forward fold. So I want you to tuck your belly button in so that you have a neutral spine. And we're going to look straight at your mat and take a moment right here. Right here, you can do whatever you want with this hand. You can put it on your hip, let it dangle, 
lift it up wherever you want that left hand. Then we're going to just pull that knee in into almost a one-legged mountain. So we're going to exhale, bring that foot, the toe back behind you, just working our back just a little bit. So inhale, bring that knee up. Exhale, bring that foot right back behind you. Maybe this time we'll take that arm up, keeping it up, coming into a one-legged mountain. Exhale all the way back. So we're going to do a little something different here. As we come forward, we're going to step that right foot forward. So if you need to adjust your legs so you can hold on to your chair. So this is a pyramid pose right here. So both feet are facing forward. Both legs are straight. This arm is up. What we want to do is they hold that chair, we want to just bow. Now you may need to bend your front knee a little bit. And you want to just bow over that right leg in a pyramid pose. So if you can, you can bring that left arm all the way down to the mat. But Yogi's choice, wherever you find yourself, is where you need to be, right? So we're working that right leg. And we're coming all the way back up through our standing pyramid pose. Inhale and exhale here. Bring this right foot back and take a wide stance. Bring our feet so that both feet are facing forward. And we're just going to sit into a squat pose. So you can stay right here holding on to your chair you can bring your thumb to your forehead if you want. And if you want, you can bring both hands, both thumbs to your forehead. But if you need to hang on to that chair, hang on. We're just working into the thighs right here. We're going to exhale, come all the way up. And we're going to do all of that on the other side. And we're not going to move the chairs. We're just going to move, work the outside leg now. So holding on to our chair, we're going to begin by stepping that left foot back. So left arm can go here or up, it does not matter either way. We're going to come right up, bringing that left foot up. Exhale, take that toe back. If you lift that left arm up, you're coming up into a one-legged mountain pose. Exhale, taking that left foot back. Inhale here. We have one more and then we'll step into our pyramid pose. Inhale here, stepping that left foot forward. Good job. Okay, so both feet are facing forward. We're holding on to our chair, so if you need to back up a little bit so you have better traction, do it. Both legs are straight. You can bend that front knee as much as you need to. Take a big inhale. And then bow over the left foot, coming as low as you feel comfortable. Holding on to that chair, just bowing over the left leg, Stretch, getting that nice stretch in the back of the leg. So we're coming all the way back up. Bring the left foot to join the right. Step both feet one more time into your wide mountain and take your squat one more time. Inhaling and exhaling here. Both hands can either come to heart center or you can bring one to heart center, one to the chair, or you can bring it up right here to your forehead. Yogi's choice. Inhaling and exhale, come all the way up and come back to our chair pose. Come back to our seated mountain. Let's come on to the chair. We're going to get a nice stretch in our hips as we close up the practice. So coming right here, take a breath as you sit with your palms on your thighs. We're going to take that right leg right out. And then we're just going to bring that ankle to the top of the left knee. So 
you might not have that flexibility. If you can just cross, that's fine. Or even if you have to cross your ankles down at the bottom. Looks like you can all make it. So right here, we're gonna sit up straight, have a nice straight spine. So you should start feeling that in the right hand. So this is perfect right here. You can stay right here in your seated pigeon, or you can begin to bow over the right leg. So you don't want to come too far if you're not, if you don't have open hips, you just want to come like right here. So if you're a real uh, limber person, you can take it a little bit further, bringing the chest all the way down, expanding your wings out. Wherever you are is where you need to be. Feel that nice stretch in the right hip. Perfect. And we're going to bring our chin to our chest. Round all the way back up. Bring that right foot down. Open up the knees. Bring this right shoulder over to the midline. So you're pull, putting that right hand to the inside of your right thigh, gently pushing that away. Your left arm is on your left thigh, and you're just bringing that shoulder right to the middle of your mat, getting a nice shoulder stretch here. Coming all the way back up, bring your feet back together. Let's try that on the other side. So extending that left leg and bringing the left ankle to the top of your thigh. Perfect. How y'all doing? Feel good? Good. Okay. So you can stay right here. Straighten up. Straightening up your spine. You can stay right here if you want to. Or you can begin to bow forward. This side is a little harder for me. Bow forward just to a place of comfort. You don't want it to hurt. Have the flexibility, you can come a little bit lower, expand your wings out, or stay right here. Your gaze is down to the mat, no matter where you are. Inhaling and exhaling, and we're going to rise, coming all the way back up, and we're going to take that shoulder stretch on the other side, opening up the knees. Right forearm comes to the right uh, thigh. Bring the left to the inside of that left leg and then press that shoulder right down like you're taking it down to the mat right through the center getting a nice stretch right here you're gently pushing that left thigh away coming all the way up with the breath bring your feet back together Come right into a child's pose one more time before we come into our seated mountain pose. So while we're in our child's pose, lift your heels off the mat. Standing on your toes, take your toe, your heels down, lift the toes up. And then both feet flat to the mat rise all the way up. We want the support of the back of the chair, so we want to be all the way back on our chair. Feet to the mat, ankles under knees, coming back to our mountain, or even our Shavasana pose. So this is where we come back to the breath. So feel the inhale, and your exhale to let your body relax. Feel the weight of your body sink into the chair, into your mat. And coming back to the rhythm of your own breath.
our hands together in prayer, we bow in love.